just got this here hat from Amazon. I'm ready for Big Bear. Although, how am I supposed to see anything? Help! <laughs> I guess I have to talk to people like this. <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to do with this? All right, y'all. Today, <laughs> today, who today? Today has been real rough. Today is one of those days. You ever have those days where there's something in my eye? This is what I'm talking about. Today, like I'm, I won't even go through the list of things that has happened, but one of the things was like, I was about to film cause I got back from the gym early. The smoke alarm started beeping like sporadically, like not just like randomly here and there. And then I took the battery out and I was like, fixed it. I could barely reach it. And then it started beeping again. And I was just like, on top of like 17 other things that I won't bore you guys with, but let's get into the SpongeBob collection by Hip Dot. I opened this collection and I hated it right off the bat. Okay, I remember when I was in eighth grade with my little eighth grade boyfriend and we were like watching SpongeBob at his house. I remember it so vividly. I just, I have a special place in my heart for SpongeBob. So I was like really excited when I saw the outside of this box because this is really cute. And Hip Dot is like an up and coming brand. By the way, they did reach out to me after they saw my last video. I remember when the pans were kind of like not filled all the way in the glitter. Um, that's something they're working on. So I just thought I would update you guys and, and uh, do that for them because I was impressed that they watched my video and reached out to me. So that was really cool. So from what I've seen from Hip Dot so far, I really like the brand. I think that, um, oh my gosh, I was gonna use one of the face masks in here that I just saw. And then I just realized I put all of my makeup on. As you can see, I'm really good at my job here on YouTube. So, so this is, what the collection looks like. It is really, really cool. I love what they've done with the black and the colors. Like it's really cool. So this, the whole palette or the whole PR collection, you can get this whole kit. I do not know if it comes with this outer box, but is $120 for the whole thing. The eyeshadow palette is 36. The gloss trio is $30 and a face mask four pack is, uh, cool. Sick. I didn't write the price down. <laughs> I just, should I just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I feel like you guys will be better off without me. <laughs> Okay, so since I was gone, I confirmed a couple things. The four pack of the face masks is uh, $20. You get a SpongeBob looking one like that or the Patrick one. Okay, it's very wet. <laughs> A lot of the times I stay away from sheet masks like this because it gets all in my hairline and like it just is like a lot of liquid happening. This is a glow and hydrate face mask with marine protein and hyaluronic acid. Better do some wonders for my freaking breakout right there, please. Hey. Oh, it's good. It's so good. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to do a photo shoot and this, this is really... <laughs> I don't think I've ever looked better. What do you guys think? <laughs> how long do I leave this, this freaking thing on? It doesn't say. Why is there no instructions? I don't know how to use this thing. Uh. Mm. uh <laughs> I don't know how long to leave this thing on. So I guess I'm just gonna leave it on for about five, five minutes. Doesn't even say on their website. Feels like it'd be really good after like a day or like a weekend of hard drinking, like just shove the moisture back into my skin. It rubs the mask on the skin or it gets the hose. I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb. I'm gonna fire myself. Well, while the remainder of that soaks into my skin, let's go over the other items of the collection. That sticky PR tape. Um, you do get the box if you buy the whole thing. So this has a little slide out carton like so. And this is the Nickelodeon Hip Dot X SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Eyeshadow Palette. It is cruelty free, it is vegan, it is paraben free, talc free, mineral oil free, and it is good for 12 months after you open it. If you didn't know how to figure that out, I'm gonna show you right here. You'll see this on pretty much every cosmetics item that you'll ever purchase. And they have to put a date from which the product is not good anymore. So when it says 12M, that means once you open it, it's good for 12 months after that. 
I personally don't uh, pay attention to those at all. I haven't found any makeup that's like been harmful to me after using it for a certain amount of time. Like, so I don't know, that's just me. But if you wanna pay attention to that, it's there. We open this palette and we have a mirror and really cute like SpongeBob little guy over here. He looks very excited about the eyeshadow. <sighs> uh, some of these shades look really pretty. Like this, like these all like look really cool to me and that one's really pretty. I don't like these. I don't like these. No, oh, that one's okay. That could be used as a mustard, I guess. I don't really like this one. I feel like maybe it's just me because I think people really like this. I've seen all of these shades. Like, I feel like there should be a matte, darker shade for using in the crease area or using as a liner, kind of but they're all just like mostly metallic. Like the only matte shades you have here are this, this kind of like deep pink, this lighter pink, yellow, and this mustard, and then this super boring like taupe shade. So I feel like there, there are things that you can do with it. I just don't look at this immediately and get inspired and wanna grab it. No hate or anything towards Hip Dot. It's not that at all. I understand why they did it. It's a SpongeBob collection. So clearly, you know, these are shades that you would find in the SpongeBob episodes, which totally makes Makes sense, I get that. This is a uh, bikini bottom blue. And then this is deep sea blue. Okay, those are really pretty though. Oh, hot damn. This is the light pink shade. I'm swatching some of the bottom shades, which are darker, which I think are gonna be our favorite. Ooh. So there are all the shades. Now, when it comes to creating a full eyeshadow look with this, that's where I'm kind of lost, but these do look really pretty and swatch really well. Let's talk about the other products in this collection. The um, Sandy Cheeks Blush and Bronzer Palette, $18, and it's a duo. And you've got a pretty um, neutral kind of, uh, bronzer here this is kind of in the middle like i would say this is more of a cool toned bronzer but it's slightly in the middle this looks super pink on camera it's slightly less pink in person i feel like there should be a highlighter this is a gloss trio this is 30 dollars, and this is a jellyfish three pack lip gloss set once again these shades do not speak to me i think these are probably one of the most ugly shades I've seen for uh, to put on your lips. I don't think I'd put any of these on my lips. It's kind of a clear. So these are like way more tame when you're putting them on. They're not this these bright shades, so that's a plus. Okay, that's actually really pretty. Okay, I take it back. These don't look how they look in the thing, so. First, I'm gonna go in with uh, Deep Sea Blue right here and just put it right on my lid. You know, one thing that's bugging me about the palette too, I think is actually like the layout. The yellows are all stacked here and then the pinks are like that. And then the blue is over here when the other blues are here. And then the purple is not near the purples. So I think um, I would rearrange that slightly differently. So yeah, the arrangement of the palette is kind of bugging me. This is blending out kind of unevenly. I keep building it back up and stuff, but it could just be me just kind of sucking at blending out eyeshadow today. I'm not really sure. Okay, so next I'm gonna take um, Jumpin' Jellyfish, fish, fish, um, <laughs> right here, which is this really pretty like gold pink monochromatic or um, monotone. Mono, mono, what am I trying to say? Okay, so I have put on some lashes, did my brows, etc., finished up the eye look. Now we are gonna move on to the Hip Dot X SpongeBob Sandy Cheeks Blush and Bronzer Palette. First, I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. Whoa, that is seriously powdery. Do you guys see that? That blended out really nicely. A little goes a long way. So I wasn't sure how the shade would look, but it seems to be working pretty well. So it blends out really nicely into the skin, which is nice because it's forgiving, even though it is pretty dang pigmented and you don't need a lot. Pretty impressed with how that blends out. I'm gonna um, do a little highlight because I always usually do that before I always usually, that doesn't make any sense. I usually <laughs> do it before I put the blush on. I'm using uh, the Urban Decay Kristen Lee Ann Highlight Palette. 
So many of you guys have been tweeting me pictures and tagging me on Instagram and pictures of where you're hitting pan. And it's so sad. I feel like we should ask um, Urban Decay to bring this back as like a staple item like forever because it is honestly the best highlighter um, Urban Decay's ever made. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the blush. Okay, the blush doesn't seem, okay, it's definitely just as pigmented, but it doesn't seem to like have as much kickback. A little worried about this being like too pink. So I guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna put it on the nose like I've been doing lately. It's a nice shade. Okay, this I like. I like that. I like it. Um, I I still don't know why there's not a highlighter in this collection, but uh, ooh, ooh, lips. What do I wanna wear? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna go with this one, but I'm gonna Line my lips as I always do and fill that in because I like to overdraw my lips. Wow, that's very coral. I do like it though, we're gonna leave it. So I'm gonna use the <laughs> coral lip gloss and this kind of has like a blue, not kind of, it has a blue tint to it, but as we saw earlier when we swatched, it doesn't really come off as blue. It's uh, coming off a little blue. <laughs> uh, all right, well. I'm not wearing blue lip gloss, so let's just keep rubbing this in and hopefully it won't look like we have frostbite soon. Let's try some of the pink one then. Okay, that's matching a little bit better. Here's the final look from the collection. Uh, let's talk in order about everything that we used here. So back to the face mask. I would have to use this for a lot of time to see if it really did anything to my face. Like my face felt just kind of, you know, normal. My skin was already pretty hydrated. I've been taking really, really good care of it since I've been breaking out a bit. The eyeshadow palette. I also forgot to show you guys this. This folds out like that so that you can have like your mirror all like that. Like that's kind of cool. Um, so I uh, stand by what I said about this eyeshadow palette. Um, it's saving grace is that these, these are really beautiful right here. These are my favorites in there. Couldn't care less, 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 eh, maybe. The way that it's organized in the palette bothers me. I wish that they had stuck either with like all the yellows in one row and all the blues in one row, or at least clumped them together in some sort of way. They're just kind of like, like this should be near these and that. And so I don't know. I also wish that there were some darker matte shades in here to kind of do a look like this. Even if you, like, if you had a wrinklier eyelid area, I wouldn't suggest uh, metallics in the crease. I'm kind of like cutting it real close with that wrinkly eyelid area. So I couldn't take this palette and really create many full looks with it. The, the color selection, like I said before, I guess makes sense because it is supposed to be a SpongeBob collection. I just, there's a lot of black lines in SpongeBob. So I wish there was a black in here too. Like with, you know, the cartoon, there's a lot of black. His eyelashes are black, everything. His shoes are black. So like I could have used some black in here. Would I use this palette again? Yeah, cause I have it. But would I actually buy that palette? I don't think so. Moving on to this guy. I also wanted to say that I love that they made this look like Sandy's, um, little helmet, air helmet or whatever. I wasn't sure about this. I thought this might be too pink, but it actually turned out really, really good. These were both really pigmented and really easy to blend out, especially this. It's just like melted right into the skin. So, and I really like the tone of it. It's like not too cool and it's not too warm. So I feel like a lot of different people could use that, but there are a lot of skin tones that won't be able to use this because it's not dark enough or it's not light enough. Uh, this gloss is starting to get really nasty. I would say that the gloss is my least favorite thing about this entire collection. I think the shades chosen are absolutely hideous. Ironically enough, I'm wearing the shade today, but I typically would never gravitate towards a coral shade like that personally. Um, it can look really good on some people. I couldn't believe how glittery this was. I don't think I'd ever wear glitter lip gloss like that glittery. This would look amazing on someone with really, really dark skin though, I think. So I think there's a time and a place in like a skin tone for all of these, except for the blue. I can't really see why why there's a blue lip gloss at all. And they're not like shades that everyone would like to wear. So I just think it's a little bizarre. So I'm interested to see what you guys think about the collection um, and how it performed today in this video. Let me know in the comments below. I really, really am interested to see if I'm kind of like the only one that's like not really all for the palette or the gloss or whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.